Okay, uh, we've got the LG OLED 55 inch TV here. It's uh, OLED 55 B7A. We replaced the last video I did, we replaced the power board. And it's working better, but I'm going to go ahead and replace the rest of the guts in here, including the main board, which is that's the TCON board. That's the main board. Main board has the HDMI ports, and this one seems to have two ports, one and two, that do not work, so might as well go ahead and replace those two and see if I can't get it fully working and have all my ports working. Ribbon cables, don't have any problem with those that I can find, so we're going to start disassembling the ribbon cables here. The new uh, main board, right here, just got it from a TV park store. And what they do is they basically, they harvest these from TVs that might have broken screens, other problems with them, and they, they get the guts. They take about everything out of the back of the TV that works, and they save those parts. And that's what they're used for, replacement parts. Okay, <clears throat> first thing we need to do we need to take the uh, holder off for the HDMI port, ports. These screws will go back in, so you don't want to lose them. Put, put both these screws up here, since there's one at the top and one at the bottom of there. That will remove the uh, connector board here. Okay. It's got a clip on. You can see the clips on on the insides here. That one came up. Next, we're gonna. Take the ribbon cables off. Up here is one at the top. You can see they have squeeze in buttons right here. They squeeze in and pull out. It's come loose. These you want to be very careful with because these just have a tab that lifts up and it pulls out. You break it, you're out of business. Lift up and just pulls it out. Because all it is is a contact board. Two squeeze tabs. This one up here. And these are all in one piece. Just gonna pull that out too and lay it there. That's all the boards out except the sound board. This goes to your right speaker. This laps, this part here lifts up and laps over a bunch of hooks under it. So you just lift that up. This part has got to be lifted up. Come right off. Okay, so that takes care of all the of the connectors. Next, we're going to go with the screws. I'm start top left, and I don't use a automatic screwdriver on here simply because you never know when you're going to get a hold of something that uh, is going to strip it out. And these screws are all the same so you can put them all in one place if you want to. This up. Got one screw down in here. And that takes care of that one, that one, that one. It takes the whole board off. Now we've got the clips on this side to get this end piece off here. You got a clip here and a clip behind it. Clip that off. You 
gonna put that right back onto your other board. One on top. You got two clips on top and two on the bottom. And the screw holes go on top. Two on the back, two on the front. And it's pretty well matched up there. Lined up straight. It's all on top. You got two tabs here and two tabs on the back. And that's what holds this board on once you put it back on here to put screws in it. Make sure they're all lined up. <clears throat> We're going to put the uh, couple screws in it to hold it so we know that it's in the right place. That's just to make sure you don't get to one of the four corners and find out you've got the board in there crooked and... Uh, You've over tightened it or something like that. So we've got those two in. Put that one in. Pop one in. So that tightens down the, the board. And we got the two screws to the outside here. That's going to go in last when I put the other piece onto it. So now we're putting the ribbon cables back. You turn a little light on here. Stop it. A little bit a little more light on here now so you can see what we're putting back. These are the squeeze parts. That's how you took them off. You squeezed it in. So you'll do the same thing when you put it back. Squeeze it and just stick it right back in there. It'll click. The others. Remember, we turned this back. So we're going to put that back in the same way it came out. It slides in there and this just locks. It won't come back out. Lift that back up again. Slide that part in under the white tabs and it locks. If you can pull it out, it's not locked. Your sound bar, which is your speakers, slides in and it snaps. You can hear it. Locked. And we've got all the cables but the last one. That one's still standing up, so under the two bars, get it all the way in there, push that down, you hear it snap, that's locked. So now we got the board completely in. Uh, speakers, the TCOM board, the main the control board over there. This is called the main board. That's what we just replaced. Uh, I don't see any damage to this one. Don't see any burn marks. In fact, I don't see anything on it that would tell me that it was bad, but these two ports did not work. HDMI 1 and 2, the ARC port, did not work. And so they, they're shorted out somewhere along the circuit board. These two ports did work, 3 and 4. And the LAN port worked and the ARC and, and the other USB. So we got everything put back like it was. Uh, in the other video we showed you how to put the back back on it. But I'm going to show you one more time. Uh, this is the main, main part where your table stand would go. So that has no screws in it. That's what you put in that. So put the back back on it. I'll see where that screw goes now. There's no screw missing. In the back of the board, right here under the land, you've got a screw that went with it, and that's the screw down here. So we're going to lay this back on. We're going to put the, put the uh, electric cord, the AC outlet cord, back through the hole. 
so that we'll have everything in position. We'll lay this just on the top, get it lined up, it's pulled out so we don't cut it off or anything. And we didn't have to take the power cord loose over here because we didn't fool with them with the power board. Okay, we've got that down on there. Snap. Snap. Everything is snapped back on here. Now we're going to put this screw that I, I thought was missing. It went right down in here. So it was the outside screw that held that to the uh, main board. And that's called the main board. I don't know why they don't call it the HDMI board, but as you can see, you got HDMI 1, 2 is ARC, and you got USB ports. Start from this side. Get all these in there. Snug them up nice. Don't over tighten the screws because that's your screen up there you're looking at on the back side of it. And it's, it's only a quarter of an inch thick. <clears throat> uh, get that over tightened and uh, you have some problems there. That one's going to go in a little further. There we go. Okay, we've got uh, one screw here. side here. I laid these screws right where they came out of so that you'd be easy to get them back in. If you're putting a screw down these deep holes and you pull your screwdriver back out and the screw comes out with it, you can pretty much bet you didn't get the screw in the in the hole or you didn't get, get, didn't get it tight where the screw would stay in there. These holes, the four there, that's your mounting holes. When you put your bracket on for your wall mount or this is for your four holes for your TV stand mount. If you just want to set up on TV stand. And we got two screws left and we're done here. You went outside of me, man. I'm motioning over here. Okay, we're down now to the uh, power cord. Got that in there. Snap it back in place. You got the one screw here left, and we've got the back on. So that puts the back on. Replace the pecan board. Everything is snapped into place. Everything's on the back of it. So we're done replacing the. Uh, HDMI board or the main board as it's called.